Tuesday night, 11.30, and there's six people in the Taco Bell line. What the heck? That just means that I'm going to be perfectly timed to catch a monster snook tonight. Yeah. I'm going to get there. The mullet are going to be there. I'm going to throw a cast net, get the perfect size mullet, and then I'm going to catch a giant, giant snook tonight. See you at the window. All right, thanks. You're welcome. You guys are quicker than Chick-fil-A, man. Thanks. Awesome. That was painless. I thought I was going to be in line for 20 minutes. In and out. Nice. Alright. Let's go get some snook. We got a long walk, guys. Long walk. I just did a blind cast with my cast net and I caught a freaking sabiki rig doggone it if you lost a sabiki rig I found it hey 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 look what I got I got a mullet these three right here about 12 to 15 inches nice oh that looks like a heavy one there all right well let's get one of these little guys on the hook that guy right there's looking good isn't he Woo -hoo. big snook candy that's the plan for tonight i love it when a plan comes together now we just need a big snook to go with it and we got seven hours to make it happen I'm fishing with my brand new PCFin Alios 300. I put 50 pound test braid on it. I bought this Daiwa rod today. It is a TDSOL. I'm liking this rod already. I put some green tape on it so you could actually see what's happening here at night because it's total black. But yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And what else have we got going on from PCFin? We got our bag here. I got my water on the side. I got my PCFin pliers. So it's a PC for night. Thanks again, PC for, for setting me up. Hopefully we get a big old snook tonight. It is 1227, call it 1230 on April the 27th. I stirred up, made a bunch of noise, a bunch of commotion. I'm just gonna sit here for a little while, let things settle down. We're gonna start soaking some mullet. See how they're doing. Oh yeah, yep, all three of them. They're all three kicking good. I am fishing with a five aught two times strong J hook tonight. 80 pound test monofilament leader, 50 pound test braid, long, long leader. I'm gonna be free lining these mullets, so we'll see if we can get one on the hook without them jumping out. Yep, there we go. It's a good one right there. That's a good one. We're gonna take this guy. I'm gonna hook this guy right in the top of the lip. Right in there. Right in the front. Just like that. Right in the middle. That guy hooked. Just like that. Alright, buddy. It's time to catch me a snook. I'm getting really tired. 2.30 in the morning. Been here two hours. No snook yet. Time check, 3.48, still no hits. It is 4.23. I actually got up at 5 o'clock in the morning yesterday. Been up almost 24 hours. No trophies tonight. We tried. We had the bait, just no trophy fish wanted to bite. It is night number two, almost midnight. Let the snook fishing adventure begin. Here we are, second night fishing for trophy fish. <laughs> Hopefully, we get a trophy snook tonight. You know, these big fish, you don't just go out and just catch a big fish anytime you want to. You got to put your time in, guys. All right, I've been here an hour. The mullet have not come through. I'm going to go ahead and put a jig on or something, see if we can't at least catch a fish. All right, let's get them. Uh, it took about 15 casts. 
small area. I'm going to switch it up. I'll throw a jig for a little while. This current just started moving pretty good, so maybe we can bounce a jig on the bottom. Talk one into eating. I lost the biggest snook of my life at this spot on a white jig. So, this is a long time ago. Biggest snook I've ever seen on the end of my line. I had him whipped. He wore through 80 pound test leader. Wore right through it, man. I was so, so disappointed. He was right in front of me, too. All right, I fished this jig for a while. Nothing. We're going to put on a Yozuri. I just heard one pop under the bridge. Still not seeing any mullet. Discouraged about that. I made a video about the only three lures that you need for saltwater fishing in Florida. And I'll put a link here in this video. This is a part of that series, the Yozuri. Love this one right here. I mean, I know I'm fishing for trophy snook, but... That's what this video is supposed to be about, but we just want to catch something at this point. This is the second night, and it's getting freaking hours are whittling away already. And we are back so quickly. No fish on the Ozuri. Switch this guy out. Put on a DOA shrimp. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, he got off. <laughs> I couldn't get my lights on. I got a bunch of slack in my line. <laughs> well, you heard him splash anyway. Fish on. All right, there we go. That's a fish on. Hey, just a little guy. But we got him. Snook in the spotlight. Snook in the spotlight. Definitely not a trophy, but see ya. Nice. Hey, first snook on my new rod and uh, my PC from Alios 300 reel. You believe I'm actually casting a DOA shrimp with that thing? And I'm casting a long way too. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. It took a lot to get all this set up to try and get mullet. I mean, I got my, my bag. I brought the jig thing out here. I got this bucket. I brought this out. I filled this up with water. I got the cast net. I got this cooler in case I caught mullet so I could keep some. I got my net in case I caught something. So let's load everything up and head to a different bridge. Oh, 220. We'll call it 230. Two and a half hours. No trophy fish yet. We are at the next bridge. I made a few casts with a spool tech, nothing. There's some guys down here dropping a light off of the bridge. Who knows what all they've been doing out here, but nothing. The tide's hardly moving here. I'm further in the intercoastal waterway now. So I'm gonna go up on the bridge. I'm gonna throw a jig. May as well start out with this pretty bright green one. guys I've been up here 45 minutes zero hits I don't know what to do I'm just having a couple of tough nights here four o'clock in the morning it is four o'clock in the morning we're shifting gears yeah staying up all night we're gonna go fishing during the day too I stopped by the house I picked up a couple of pompano fishing rods I got my fold out wagon that uh, subscriber Jeff gave me thank you and we're gonna head down to the jetties do a little bit of snook fishing before the sun comes up, but it's low tide at six o'clock, sunrise at like seven or 7.30. So the tide will turn around. We're gonna catch that turnaround of the tide this morning and do some pompano jig. And that's the plan, but I gotta get some coffee in this body, man, so I can keep going. So I'll see you somewhere. I actually put French vanilla creamer in that. I've been drinking my coffee black for like 30 years. I used to bring drink french vanilla creamer all the time i feel like treating myself because i've been working so hard guys two nights snook fishing and i haven't produced yet got me a banana nana for breakfast mm. 
love my life, man. All right, let's go. All right, we have made it to Jetty Park. Salty scales. Always amazes me how much stuff you can get stuffed in one of these little tackle boxes. Okay, let's see if we can find a snook here. It is 4.39 in the morning. Well, I got hung on a rock. I was able to get it undone. And it is, it is pitch black out here. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I need to find, find a place to stand here. Go down a little bit more here. Yeah, I got hung up. Dang it. I'm gonna lose a spool tech. Thing about these rocks, you gotta be so careful. You don't step on the wrong one that tilts. You know? Can't believe I got my spool tech hung up on the rocks. Dude, there's freaking rats crawling around now. Oh, it came off, it came off. Come on, come on, come on. Get in here. <laughs> I'm glad I changed angles. I do not want to lose a $20 spool tech. No, thank you. I haven't bought one of these in a long time, and I probably won't because they changed the design. This thing locked back in place. All right, we didn't lose it. Slippery, slippery. That was, that was too slippery. Way too slippery. All right. I got myself in a predicament here. Turn around. Back the other way. Problem is you gotta have a rock where you can stand and get your rod out past far enough so you don't get hung up on the rocks. Now let's see what's happening down here. I know we can get out there on that one. How slippery it is, I have no idea. Whoa, don't fall. Be patient. I think I've gotten in one good cast since I've been here. Dude, this is just ridiculous. I mean, really. Yeah. Freaking about to lose a spool tech. I am about to lose a spool tag. Wait a minute, I went too far. It's just hung right there. <sighs> yeah. I'm just gonna spend my freaking night crawling around on the rocks here. Okay, I bet I can get this thing unhung. I bet I can get it right here. Whoop. Slippery, slippery, slippery dock. Hickory, tickery, dickery dock. And it's slippery as all oh, freaking get out. It is hung up good, man. Ah. Crap. Yep. She gone. One spool tech gone. All right. Well, I'd like to say that was fun, but it wasn't. Oh, and it's a little slippery. Careful, careful, careful. My goodness. People who fish these jetties at night are crazy. Yep. I'm in the crazy crowd. <laughs> Let's see what time it is. 5.30. Hey Siri, sunrise time? Sunrise will be at 6.53 a.m. today. Oh my gosh. We got 6.50 to 7 o'clock. So 6.30 it'll be breaking daylight. We're not gonna really be able to fish until 7 o'clock, so. <laughs> I, about an hour and a half before I can pump it and fish. Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. Staying up all night. This is an experience. I probably won't do this again. I would fish the jetties at night with live bait, 
but um, yeah, not not with these expensive lures like this. And just too many rocks. I mean, you're casting parallel to the rocks, and yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to my buddy Tibor and get some pointers for him how he fishes here at night. Anyway, I'm here. Let me get re-leadered up, and we'll see if we can find us a a light jig and uh, see how long it takes us to lose a jig. It's not good. I think all I have is two ounce jigs in here. I was hoping I had something lighter. Oh, here we go. This is an ounce and a half. But I think we want to use white because this water is so clear. This is an ounce and a half here. All right, I'm gonna put that guy on. After all this, I need a big snook. I'm talking a big mama. Mama Jama. This video is turning out to be a whole bunch of work. Bunch of hours. Huh. All this work. Make $10 per thousand view, views. Right? So if I get 4,000 views, I make $40. <laughs> really? <laughs> $40 for like 30 hours of work? Yeah. That's the reality of YouTube right there. Alright guys, we're going for it. I'm going all the way out on the end just because I can. Yep. It's a little tricky doing this during the day. There's a little pathway that goes this way. It's pretty safe. one maybe step on this one down here here all right let's kind of scope this situation out here see if we got any good rocks Tell you what, let's, let's just kind of head down this way. Let's give it a try right in here. Oh, fish on, fish on. Fish on, fish on. It's a good one, it's a good one. We got a good one. We got a big snook, big snook guys, big snook. Oh, he got me in the rocks. Good fish, good fish, heck yeah. Finally, there we go, there we go. We did it, we freaking did it. Check it out. It's not the giant I was hoping to get, but we got a snook, baby, heck yeah. All right, let's get this guy up here. Oh, that's a good one. It is a good one. Come on, big guy. All right, guys. Check that dude out. Nice. Heck yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. He's about, yeah, I'm going to say about 27, 28 maybe. Nice. All right, I'm going to let this guy go. We're going to give him a toss right over there. All right, thanks for the catch, buddy. One, two, three. There he goes. He's right there in the rocks. Nice. <laughs> All right, baby. Not bad. Let's see what time it is. Look at that. 547. We got us a snook. <laughs> it took almost six hours, but we got one. Nice. 
got him on a white jig got him on that jig right there just a slow steady retrieve and wham he thumped that thing baby heck yeah even after i was shining the light climbing out around on the rocks and everything he was hanging out down there oh my gosh i feel so good i thought he was bigger than that i love it man so we got our our first fish on our pc fin alios 300 bait casting reel and uh my new dial rod oh i love it guys i absolutely love it all right well i got this thing spooled up with 50 pound test braid 80 pound test monofilament leader long 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 leader eight foot long leader and uh that's about an ounce and a half jig so let's get another one Guys, it is a terribly rainy night tonight. I'm out here snook fishing with Julio. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a monster tonight. Julio's hooked up. You got a little, you got a little fish there, man. You make me run over here for a lady fish. I is a little snook. You got a little snook. Nice. Well, we got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. This yeah. weather that is just not good. <laughs> is that like your second cast? Yeah. Yeah. Once again, the weatherman. Yeah. 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 It should be fire. <laughs> it went. It went from like five percent chance to like one hundred and fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got over here. Julia's going to want to talk about this lure. Yeah. I'm giving him a little free promotion here, but <laughs> it's not going to last for long. Just put it on my tab. You can just put it on my tab. Let me work it out. <laughs> what are you fishing with, man? Uh, I'm fishing with a uh, Nomad Vertrex. It's a new lure from, uh, from Nomad that just came out with. And no, guys, listen, it's not a rattle trap. Okay, <laughs> stop saying that. Thing looks like a little shiner, man. A little green back. Yep. Nice. Good job. Thank you, sir. Way to get them. That's going to be the smallest one we get tonight. Well, let's not count the chickens before they hatch. All right, I'm going for a big one. Coming. Julio's hooked up on something. All right, Julio's got something here again, as usual. On the metal. Julio, as usual. I got it on the metal. Right there. Oh, there he is. I landed right on him. <laughs> That's crazy. I landed right on him, man. No way. Oh, he's not even in the net. He's not even in the net. Nice. Who said? You guys see that? <laughs> right there. That's how we get the snook on the bridge. <laughs> nice, dude. Piece of metal. Awesome. The piece of metal does it again. Good job. I almost lost it too, look. Oh yeah. Hey, my bad. 25. Good job. Give it up. 25 man nice i need to get a big one i don't want one of them little ones i want a big one i want a big snook
Fish on. I got one, guys. Fish on. Yeah. It's a good one. He's not a giant. He's, he's at least 28, I would say. He hit it, hit it out there by the light, man. Yeah. He's a pole bender, dude. <laughs> I like my new rod. Oh, he just came off. No. He just freaking no. came off. He did, dude. He pulled right off. No. <sighs> I'm sorry. Crap. I wasn't fussing on it. <laughs> that's okay, man. <laughs> that's the jig that that snook hit right there. That's called Skittles. That's my favorite color jig. 80 pound test leader tied on with a loop knot. And I'm fishing with 50 pound test braid, just fishing bridges around a lot of structure. You want to have heavy gear. And uh, so that's what we're doing. It is 2.36 in the morning. We started at 8.30 tonight. We have been bridge hopping all around. Been a slow night. We only got a couple snook, but we're coming, coming down here to the boat ramp and uh, see if we can't get hooked up with something here. His reports have been for a while. There's snook down here. <laughs> 